Hello everyone and welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. With the Warmind expansion just a few short weeks away, the details about that expansion keep rolling in on a steady basis. Just today, Bungie dropped a teaser trailer for the Warmind update. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and we'll be back to talk here in just a second. Alright guys, now we have a lot to talk about in this video. From that trailer that you just watched, we can see that Suros Regime will be making a return and this has been confirmed on Twitter by Deej himself, so we know that that is for sure Suros Regime. Also in the trailer, we can see some very sexy Warmind themed armor being sported by a Titan. And that Titan also happens to be holding a very unique looking weapon that appears to be a shotgun based on the way that he's reloading it. Now at first I thought that this might be a uh, sleeper simulate, but after looking at it over and over and over and over like a crazy person, I've determined that it is in fact a shotgun of some kind, more than likely some kind of new Warmind themed shotgun similar to what we saw in Curse of Osiris with the Weapons Forge, so here's hoping that it's actually going to be good. So the next thing that I want to take a look at from this trailer is what appears to be some kind of new relic similar to the axe in Archon's Forge or the relic in the Vault of Glass raid. So taking a look at this clip in slow motion, you can clearly see this character wielding some sort of solar staff. Now, I'm assuming that this is going to be some kind of special event relic, like I said, similar to the axe in Archon's Forge, but there is always the possibility that this could potentially be a new type of weapon that you can equip in your power slot, similar to a sword. As we progress the clip, you can see that when he does the slam animation, it puts a solar bubble around him and hits the ground for massive damage. This thing looks like a lot of fun, but we'll have to wait and see just how exactly we use it and what activities it will be available in, which brings us to the next thing that we're going to take a look at, and that is a potential horde mode or a survival mode in Destiny, something that I have wanted literally since the very first day that I ever played Destiny 1 when it came out in September of 2014. I've always felt like Destiny would be the absolutely perfect franchise to have some kind of survival or horde mode or just any kind of wave-based game mode that has no end. You just keep going and going and going, and it actually looks like we might be getting that finally. This game mode appears to be called the Hive Escalation Protocol. And from what I can gather from this clip that we're about to take a look at is you will be facing wave after wave of Hive enemies. Each wave will have a certain amount of Hive enemies and a timer, and you have to kill the Hive enemies within that timer before the timer runs out. Assuming you're able to do that, then you move on to the next wave and go from there. Now, obviously, we don't have very much information about this right now, but if we look at what's on our screen right now, we can get a pretty good idea of what this is going to be all about. I'm personally just hoping that it's not an overly exaggerated public event, similar to the public event on Mercury. I really hope that this is its own standalone game mode that me and a buddy of mine can launch into and go spend an hour just killing wave after wave of enemy. Now, it goes without saying that you should manage your expectations accordingly, and hopefully we will get some details on this in tomorrow's Warmind reveal stream. But honestly, me personally, I'm kind of leaning to an actual survival slash horde type game mode. The reason being is because I've seen a couple of Bungie employees over on Twitter say things like, I hope that Cosmo and some other guy can survive in tomorrow's livestream. Little things like this are very subtle, and of course they should be taken with a grain of salt because it is indeed an off-the-cuff remark. But nonetheless, Bungie does like to hype things up, and Bungie knows that this is something that we want. I don't think that they would tease it this much if it wasn't exactly what we expect it to be. So here's hoping, guys. Fingers crossed. Another thing that I want to take a look at real quick that Bungie released today separate from the teaser trailer is a look at the upcoming buff to the Tractor Cannon Exotic Shotgun. So I'm going to go ahead and play the full Tractor Cannon clip for you uninterrupted, and I will be back in a few seconds to talk about it. Wow. 
Now this looks very interesting to me. Let's go ahead and break down this clip and see if we can figure out exactly what will be changing with the tractor cannon. When Bungie released this clip over on Twitter, they said amplify the void. Now when we slow this clip down, you can see that when he shoots him with the initial tractor cannon burst, you get a debuff called the scientific method. He then throws a void grenade and a nova bomb, and you can see that each and every tick of damage that those two items are doing is showing up as a crit, similar to a tethered enemy. So based on what Bungie said and based on what we see in this clip, it looks as though Tractor Cannon is going to be a mini void tether. Now what I mean by that is when you shoot an enemy with Tractor Cannon and you get the scientific method debuff, all incoming void damage on that enemy from the Guardians is going to be significantly amplified, meaning it's going to do a lot more damage. Now this is an exotic perk like we have never seen in the history of Destiny 1 or 2. Basically what this is, is giving you the power to implement void burn at will, whenever you want on whatever enemy you want. This really, really and truly has me very excited. I mean, we've never seen anything like this in the game, and this truly seems like it's going to have an exotic feel to it, and I cannot wait to get my hands on this one. So if you'd like to hear Bungie talk about all these changes coming in the Warmind update, then make sure that you tune in to their live stream tomorrow, April 24th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. That is noon Central Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and for those of you in the UK, it will be between 5 and 7 p.m. depending on your location. I recommend going to Google and just typing in 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to your time zone and see what it is. The live stream will be on twitch.tv slash bungee. And yeah, I'll be there. I'll be watching. I might even record it and make a video about it if they drop some major bombs. So make sure that you check back to this channel tomorrow afternoon if you would like to get a recap of what went down in that live stream if you were not able to watch it yourself. I'm personally really hyped about this update, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. It looks like it's going to be very satisfying, at least in the short term until we get that big fall expansion in September that is just going to completely change the game. But that's going to bring this video to an end, guys. Drop a comment in the box below. Let me know what you think about these changes coming to the game that we know of so far, and let me know if you're hyped about Warmind, man. I cannot wait. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you were already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and take care.